All right, take three. Um, let me just get my retainer out of here first. All right, I don't really care. Um, usually I do that before the video, but I forgot. So anyway, uh, this is the third time I'm trying to make this video. Uh, now I'm just going to be really blunt with the sets and talk about his team for about 30 seconds. He's got a good team there um, with Weavile and Landers as pretty much his only offensive threats. Uh, other than Ampharos, but Ampharos is really slow. Uh, everything else is pretty much really bulky. Uh, I'm pretty scared of Licky Licky. It's a big threat uh, just because of my my fighting type being Scrafty, and Scrafty's not the strongest fighting type in the world. Um, his only hazard removal is Armaldo, so getting up rocks is going to be really good. Um, and overall, if I could change my team for his, I wouldn't because I like my team more. Um, I, th I think I know what where he was going with it. He wanted a bulky team with Weaval and Landers, um, and that makes sense. Except uh, I, I can't really I can't really roll with that. You know, as far as me me using it, it wouldn't work out. I I would probably win like twice, um, but he could he could probably win like every single game because that's his playstyle. You know, and different people have different playstyles, obviously. So, uh, you know, my team's more fast than his. His speed is really lacking as far as, you know, he's got Weavile for fast and he's possible Scarf Landers, but if it's not Scarf, then, you know, I mean, what else does he have? Not much. And, uh, you know, my team's really fast, but his is way more bulky. So, um, you know, and certain things are pretty passive on his team. Namely, Yuxi, Licky Licky, uh, Mawile, Configurgus, potentially Celesteela, depending on the set. So, you know, I mean, I just thought of... Go, go more on an offensive pr approach, but make sure you you can deal with the the things on his team that you have to deal with. So next, no, that's that's the last mod. So I guess I'll go over this first. Um, so yeah, to take one, I got interrupted by my brother. Take two, uh, the music was way too loud, so I'm just not gonna put music in it. And sorry if the mic has is badder badder quality is worse quality. Um, maybe cause it's because I'm being too loud, but I don't really know why that would uh, happen. So. Regardless, here we are. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, we have bulk up, drain punch, knock off wrist. I need this thing for the licky licky. Um, if if I don't have Scrafty there, I uh, pretty much lose the licky licky with with the team that I'm bringing. So I have bulk up, drain punch, knock off wrist. Uh, this thing can set up on you know Configurus, uh, Suicune, Yuxi, licky licky, Armalda. Uh, depending on Celesteel set, I could set up on that as long as he doesn't have like air slash. Because uh, as long as he doesn't have Z fly on Landers. I can set up on that. Um, uh, maybe set up. I can set up on Weavile. I can set up on uh, potentially Chest on if I switch into it to get the Intimidate off. Intimidate is really important to uh, be able to lower something's attack. I want Chestoberry over Lumberry because if I get Will O Wisp, if I get burned by either Configurus or Suicune or something like that, and uh, you know, I don't, don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want to. Cure that with the Lumberry. I'd rather have the Chesterberry there because Chesterberry will only recover if you're. It will only recover you if you're uh, asleep. So basically, sorry if that I'm explaining this too much, but if I if someone burns me and I have the Lumberry, it'll cure the it'll cure the burn and then I'll go for rest later on, and I won't get back up to or I won't wake up because I've already burned my Lumberry. Whereas if someone burns me out of that Chesterberry, I'm not, I'm going to stay burned. But once I go for a rest, later on, if I ever do, then the burn, then I'll fall asleep so I won't be burned anymore. And then the Chesterberry will wake me up. So I, I'm really relying on the rest there. Um, but, you know, hopefully it'll, hopefully I don't get this thing too low to where I can't um, rest up. Um, but yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. Again, this team's decently slow. I have, I have enough speed to outspeed a Suicune with no speed. So, um, that's pretty much nice, I guess. And, uh, yeah, if we can bulk up, get our defense and our attack up, that's gonna be nice. And if I don't want to go for rest, if I've already burned my Chestoberry and I can just Drain Punch, get that recovery off, knock off snakes for Configurgus and Landers. And that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, that's crafty. Now we're gonna move on to the, uh, the, the, the start of the line instead of the end of the line. We have Tapu Koko here, Sh uh, Shuckleberry, take an EQ from Landers. Um, I'm going to be pretty blunt with the team build this time, because at, the, at this point I'm just tired of explaining these mods. <laughs> it's just getting, it's getting boring, so, you know, usually I like recording the team builder, and right now I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> Let's just get through it. Um, 
I don't really care if the mic's bad quality at this point, but we have Sunreach, uh, our top of Coco, Shuggerberry, because uh, if he's Choice Scarf, Landers, uh, we'll live the Shug we'll live the EQ with the Shuggerberry as long as we're in full health or close enough, and then we'll fire back with an HP Ice should kill. If he's Yachu Berry, then we'll go for HP Ice, well at speed, because we're faster, we'll go for HP Ice, and then Yachu Berry will pop, he'll live the HP Ice because of the Yachu Berry, and then EQ will go off, we'll live it, and then next turn we'll go for the HP Ice, and uh... Take him out because the Yachu Bear won't be there be there anymore. In my opinion, the uh, scariest sets for him to bring would be Scarf Lando. Uh, you know, obviously Gliscor is nice for it, but I've seen a lot of HP Ice Landos on the ladder. Uh, I haven't been on the ladder lately, but I just I've seen a lot of them. You know, because Landos need to face Lando other Landos, and this in this situation HP Ice is really nice because it, it hits uh, Gliscor and Sceptile. It's going to be the, the common trend. And, you know, that's why Weavile is so good against my team. Because um, against Dice Shard, a lot of things. Um, namely, you know, why... But by the way, I'm changing this Brave Bird to Dazzle Gleam. Maybe, if, if I get a Jenner in time. A stupid mistake on my part. I should have just had Dazzle Gleam there. Um, and obviously, I'll, I won't have the attack there. I'll just make it, you know, um, what is it, Timid. This thing has speed Weavile, by the way. This much speed. And I'll put this in HP or whatever. I just wanted um, Brave Bird to hit Chestnut, but Dazzling Gleam hits Chestnut too, so, yeah. Next up is Flapjack, my Blastoise, with the Rocky Helmet. Um, Rapid Spin, Toxic Scald, Dragon Tail. His Stealth Rockers consist of uh, Yuxi and Lando, and Armaldo, and Mawile, but if if, if, I'm, if it's going about what I'm thinking, I'm thinking he's going to bring Scarf Lando, and then if he wants to bring Rox, he'll, he'll bring him on uh, Yuxi. If he's bringing Almaldo, he'll probably bring him on that instead of Yuxi. And just he might just not even bring Yuxi, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I mean, Blastoise is nice uh, because it can... I need to keep it healthy. It has no, uh, no reliable recovery without leftovers. I need to keep it healthy because it's it's really needed for Weavile and Landers. Um, so that's that's really important. I don't know why this mic is so loud. It's not... not I couldn't even be, like, any quieter. So, I, I don't know. But... Anyway, we have Toxic Scald. I'll just actually, hold on. I'll just put it up there. I guess it's not as loud anymore. Because it's further away from my voice. Yeah, Rapid Spin, Toxic Scald, and a Dragon Tail. Because uh, you'll, you'll you'll find out eventually. Uh, again, this only has removers on Maldo, or Maldo. So that's fine. Because we have Rapid Spin, Toxic Scald, and Dragon Tail. That's really important. This Glee Fence, I mean, again, you know, Rocky Helmet's useful. If he wants to U-turn out with Landers, if he wants to knock off with Weavile, uh, that'll get rid of the Rocky Helmet, but he'll still take damage on that turn. Uh, it's just important to get some chip on things. That's all I really want. And Dragon Tail can hit everything. I can just spam Dragon Tail as long as he doesn't have, bring Mawile, because Mawile is his fairy, uh, which I think it's a bad fairy, but whatever. Um, he's I got the Lycan Rock here. Focus Sash. I can outspeed Adamant, max speed Weavile with this. Stealth Rock Taunt, uh, Accelerock, and Stone Edge. I can't hit Chestnut too hard. Um, I can't hit Mawile too hard. But everything else I can just Stone Edge. Like, he doesn't have too many switches for that. Uh, taunt will... I mean, if he leads with Lando, okay. I could Taunt predicting Stealth Rocks. I could also just straight up Stealth Rocks. Because if he's Scarfed, and he brings me down to my Sash with uh, EQ, and I go for Taunt, that's just completely wasted, right? So... I, I still want to get the rocks up, so if he, even if he leads with Landers and gets up rocks, I'd rather go for the rocks because, if, I mean, Blastoise is coming, and the chance of him bringing uh, Armaldo, I don't really know how high that is. Um, it's a potential, definitely, but, you know, I think certain things, on like, he needs to bring Weavile, Landers, um, Licky Licky, in my opinion, uh, and then Chestnut, I mean, he, he could fit Armaldo in there, but, you know, I, I just don't really know. He, he probably won't bring Suicune, actually. So yeah, I guess Armaldo is a potential bring, but either way, I mean, Armaldo takes 25% of coming in, and my Rock Setter is really good against Armaldo. As long as he doesn't bring Aqua Jet, we can just Stone Edge that, that thing. And once that's gone, Stealth Ox will stay on the field. If he doesn't even bring it, Stealth Ox will always be on the field on his end. And if he doesn't bring Armaldo, if his, if his plan for a lead Lycanroc is to go for beat up on Weavile, I can definitely predict that. And, uh, you know, bring in Blastoise. He'll uh, take all the Rocky Helmet damage, and he'll basically die from that. Um, because he'll hit six times if he has all of his mods, and then it'll get Rocky Helmet damage on him every six, all six times. Hopefully that works, though. I mean, you know, we have to just look out for it. But, yeah, 
pretty basic there. Slazzle, uh, Life Orb, uh, Flame Charge can allow me to, I think this will outspeed a max speed landers. So if I get a Flame Charge up, I can out outspeed his entire team. Unless he brings Scarf Weavile, which isn't coming. Uh, Sludgery, Flamethrower, uh, Dragon Pulse, and Flame Charge. So Dragon Pulse will hit Ampharos. I really think he'll bring Ampharos. It seems like a good solid bring. Maybe even an, an Agility Landers, or an Agility Ampharos, who knows. Uh, because it seems nice. And then if I can Dragon Pulse that thing, it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, I was thinking about HP Ice, but eh. I mean, you know, f I feel like uh, Ampharos is more bulky than Landers. That's just my gut feeling. So I feel like I need to hit that thing harder than Landers. Um, plus if Landers gets Will or anything, you know, that's that's whatever. So Dragon Pulse is useful. Um, hopefully I can bring this thing in mid-game and just kind of threaten him. Because otherwise uh, we've all would outspeed and I don't want that to happen. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta make sure we can, uh, put in the work with that. Other way, other, other than that, you know, Sludge Wave will hit Chestnut. Actually, no, I can just go for fl Flamethrower. Sludge Bomb wouldn't because it has Bulletproof, um, but, you know, other than if he does bring Bulletproof, which he probably will because Overgo is kind of meh, but, um, you know, unless he's bringing a Belly Drum Salad Berry set, but, yeah, uh, last but not least, we do have Porygon 2. Our special defensive with Recover, Bolt Beam, and Toxic. Uh, Bolt Beam is pretty good against his team. I can Toxic the Cofigurgus and Yuxi. I can Toxic the Licky Licky. Again, he'll probably bring Heal Bell on Licky Licky, whatever. But, um, you know, it's it, it's it's okay. Uh, Ice Beam hits the Landers, the Ampharos, and, or Mega Ampharos, and the Chestnut, and then T-Bolt hits Suicune and uh, Solosteela. And then, you know, we just re want to recover. This thing's basically just there uh, for the... Th um, its job is to wall the Ampharos and Toxic as many things as possible. <laughs> it's just, That's really what it's there for. It's not really there for damage. If I can kill Landers, that's cool. But I, I doubt he'll stay in against this thing knowing that... Fully knowing that pretty much every Porygon has Ice Beam. Uh, not every Porygon, but most Porygons. Uh, and then last month, I already talked about Scrafty, so whatever, but... That was literally, I mean, if I could scroll up on this, hold on. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Like, this was the order that was made. And, you know, since I had already recorded the whole thing, and then I realized that the mic was too, like, the music was way too loud, so I just took out the music, and I forgot to change it back to Top of Coco before I started. Um, but regardless, here we are. Um, hopefully we can win. I don't want to go in two, but if we do, that's it's whatever. Um, for a really good battler, and he'll definitely... Uh, give me a challenge so hopefully we can uh, pick up the w if we can't oh well you know it's it's just it's just a game but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time